Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining in. So my name is uh, Shoaib Ahmed, and I am a lead uh, pre-sales consultant at uh, uh, Peak Cloudy. So today we will be showcasing a quick product demo on the Peak Cloudy platform, uh, and uh, we'll take you through a quick uh, session on the products, and uh, we will showcase all the different features and uh, showing all the capabilities and say. So let me quickly share my screen. Hope you guys can see my screen. Cool. Okay. Fine then. So we'll kill qu uh, quickly get started uh, with P Cloudy. So what is P Cloudy? So P Cloudy is basically a mobile uh, cloud-based uh, test platform solution. So which provides you know access to all the uh, real devices. So where you can test all your uh, mobile applications and uh, also your uh, desktop web applications. So it's a single platform where we are we are we are providing an interface to test both your mobile application as well as the uh, desktop web applications. So be, be it uh, and when it comes to mobile applications, uh, be native applications hybrid applications mobile web and progressive web applications and not just that uh, the users can also perform uh, manual test along with uh, automation testing as well and uh, we also uh, we also have a, a seamless integration with uh, the leading ci server uh, like jenkins team city bamboo and so on so if you have uh, uh, you know if you have if you have used any of your ci servers then you can pretty much integrate with the p cloudy and execute your builds through the different ci CI server. So that's about uh, uh, a quick introduction about the uh, P Cloudy. So let me just uh, uh, talk about the offering. So we have so we have three different offerings uh, when it comes to uh, the first offering is the public cloud, uh, wherein we have more than 500 physical devices that are hosted in the data center, and uh, you can pretty much. Uh, Test, uh, yeah, you know, or your mobile web, mobile applications on this platform, and uh, we uh, the second offering is the private cloud, uh, which is a dedicated cloud. Uh, and in case if you are uh, looking for a dedicated access, uh, so we will be hosting the entire uh, cloud setup. Uh, at our data center and uh, we'll also host the devices of your choice and uh, so wherein the advantage of having private cloud is the additional uh, data security plus uh, you know the access to the devices right so you have 24 bar 7 access uh, device availability in the in the private cloud offering and the third offering is the uh, uh, the on premise offering so wherein if you have already invested on the uh, existing devices and if you would like to utilize those uh, devices then we set up the entire cloud uh, you know behind the corporate uh, firewall behind your own firewall at your premise so where where we manage the entire cloud uh, we set up all the hardware and the software configurations and you can quickly connect to your devices and uh, you can you know get started uh, with your testings so the features and the capabilities uh, remains across uh, uh, you know across all the all the three different platforms uh, are the same so the demonstration which i am showcasing today is on the uh, public platform so so this is the uh, login page so once the user signs up with pcloudy the user can quickly log in so let me just uh, log in with my credentials i'm just logging in into the uh, public cloud instance and uh, uh, let me showcase the different uh, features that P Cloudy brings in. So wherein you can test your uh, mobile applications. I'm just logging in. This is the landing page uh, where we arrive. Uh, so it's a quick dashboard. Uh, we have all the uh, different stats, like the uh, total number of sessions that you have run till date, be it either manual sessions or automation sessions, your current sessions, if there are any concurrent sessions that are running. And uh, we are also providing uh, a quick uh, video on the right hand side uh, if you are new to the p cloudy you can quickly uh, you know see this video to get started with your first test and we are also providing a list of devices you know uh, that we keep adding to the cloud as and when there is a new device in the market and uh, we also have some other interesting stats related to your previous manual sessions your automation reports and uh, all the updates related to the product enhancement and uh, uh, product uh, uh, features that we keep on enhancing so all that can be found in the release notes so that's about 
uh, the my dashboard page uh, where you can monitor about your previous uh, sessions let me jump into the important tab which is the devices tab so this is the tab uh, this is the place where you will be seeing all the different devices so as you can see these are all all the physical real devices so these are not emulators or simulator these are physical real devices i can pretty much scroll down look for a particular device and i can you know, quickly start my uh, functional testing we also have a filter options on the right so you can pretty much filter based on you know operating systems so we are supporting all the different versions starting from android 4.3 to android 11 and also when it comes to ios we are pretty much supporting all the different versions starting from ios 9.3 to ios 14.1 when it comes to oem you can pretty much filter with all the different oems that we have uh, uh, listed on this platform and uh, screen sizes we pretty much support all the different smartphones tablets and tablets so we have the list of screen sizes uh, pretty much available you can you know choose the screen size of your choice and you can filter network when it comes to network so by default most of these devices are connected to the wi-fi however uh, there are uh, there are some devices which are equipped with the real sim cards like airtel idea geo and vodafone uh, in case of india data center and ADT mobile t mobile and uh, us mobile in case of us data center and the device location uh, so we have across two different location one is in india and the other one then is u1 us and we are also upcoming with our third uh, data center which is in uh, singapore which will be operational very soon so now i can quickly connect to any of this device uh, and uh, get started so before i acquire the device let me also talk about another important tab which is my app data so my app data is basically a cloud location or a cloud drive given to every individual user uh, where the user can quickly upload the apk files and the ipa files from their local repository and quickly upload it and before you install it on any uh, device so it's pretty straightforward for android uh, you can pretty much just upload it and install it on any uh, android uh, devices but however for uh, uh, ios ipa files so there is a security policy in place by apple right and if you are using enterprise version from apple so you have to resign the app so once you upload your ipa file uh, you may have to resign the app so manually how we do is we give the ud id of a particular device and then you give it to a developer profile and the developer creates uh, and rebuilds the app and gives it gives back to you right so that's the manual way of doing it but uh, uh, when when you are testing your application on different sets of ios devices that on a platform like us uh, wherein you have multiple sets of different sets of ios devices so if you wish to test the same application it becomes a time consuming effort for every application you have to do the resigning so as a workaround what we have done is we have come up with a feature called uh, resign option if you can see on the right hand side so once you upload your ipa file you can just click on the apple icon and click on resign so what it does is uh, uh, it takes care of all the resigning so we are adding all the ud ids of different ios device to this particular file and uh, we are renaming this file with uh, you know same name underscore timestamp.ipa so uh, that's the workaround we have so which will save your uh, you know test execution manual test execution time and will speed up your uh, testing activity as well so that's about uh, my and my data so let me just go back and acquire uh, any device and you know, get started so uh, since this is being a public platform uh, so we have uh, three different legends here uh, available in use in an offline so what does this mean so if you see any device which is available so which means you know the device is available i can pretty much connect to this your device and i can get started however in case if you see any device which is in use so which means that device is being used by some other user right so this is because we have our global presence and we have different customers across the globe accessing the same platform and this being a public cloud so uh, uh, that's where in uh, you have to be uh, you know conscious about uh, say, uh, their device availability however in case of a private cloud since it's a dedicated cloud uh, wherein you have a 24 bar 7 access to these clouds so that's the one of the differences when you talk about the public cloud and the private cloud so let me just get connected to any one of these device so this device seems to be available uh, i can also click on more details uh, to understand on the hardware and the uh, software uh, information uh, of this pro on the particular uh, device let me just connect to this device to connect to this device i just have to click on connect and the devices will be and this device will be acquired so as you can see it's pretty much real time uh, i just connected and no time you know the device is connected so this is the uh you know the real physical device that is connected in the data center and uh, this is the device interaction page uh that we call so we have different features on the left and the, also on the right i'll not take you through all the different features uh for the time constraint but i'll however i would like just uh, uh just go through some of the important features and uh, 
I can install the application now, assuming I have already uploaded the application in the my app uh, data. The next step is to install the applications. Of course, there are various different ways of installing the application. Uh, uh, one of the ways, this way is you know, upload the IPA file or APK file into the my app data and then upload it. And uh, the other way is if your application is already in the production, then you can pretty much log into the Play Store and the App Store and you can you know uh, download the application and install it. So let me just install the application. I am just installing a sample application here. OK, so the application will get installed, and then I can start my testing. So now two things happen at the back end. So while I, have, uh, while I acquire the device, the entire session is being recorded in the form of uh, video, and that video will be available in the reports. And uh, and the uh, other important uh, part we are providing is the logs. The entire session logs has been provided again in the form of reports. So you can pretty much uh, you know log in, uh, go to the report section uh, where you can see this video. You can download the video and see what manual activity that you have done over the period of time. So that's about uh, uh, logs and uh, the videos that you get it by default. Now I have different options. So as a manual tester, uh, if I want to monitor the live logs that are coming in from the device, I can you know quickly start uh, uh, monitoring. I can do the stack trace of uh, the device. To, to, to enable the logs, I just have to click on Enable Device Logs on the right and uh, click on the Logs uh, button so that uh, the log streaming comes here. I just click on the log streaming. So these are the color coded logs that are directly coming in from the device. Uh, so I can pause this, I can stop, I can clear, download, and I can also clear these logs. I also have filter options. So depending upon the, you know, uh, any warnings or error message, I can also filter. And the other important uh, feature is the analysis app. So this is more from the performance metrics, right? So it's very important uh, to understand how your application consumes, uh, you know, the battery uh, from the uh, memory consumption level, from the CPU consumption level, and the network usage. So uh, this is an important feature uh, which will add value to your existing uh, uh, use case, existing manual test cases. So to use this feature, just click on Analysis, uh, select on the graph, and this will, uh, you know, ask you to select a package of application we wish to monitor. So since we have installed uh, this particular application here, we will select this big basket application. The moment I select uh, the application, I get all the important. Uh, the performance metrics uh, starting from the memory usage so this is at the application level so we are providing the performance metrics uh, for android at the application level and uh, for ios uh, it is at the device level so that is one of the differences you can pretty much monitor all the live logs that are coming in so cpu usage there is network usage as well battery consumption very important to understand uh, right how your battery is being consumed on this particular device with this application right so the blue line indicates the battery consumption at the device level the red line indicates the battery consumption at the application level and the orange line indicates the battery consumption in percentage by both device and the application right so that's about the, so these uh, are the important performance metrics are provided to you live and you can also money you can all you will also be provided in the form of graph so in case if you wish to uh, you know uh, do the deep uh, analysis on these performance metrics then these graphs are pretty much available in the graphs uh, in the report section uh, which you can pretty much get it so now let me perform some action on this device uh, let me just select on the application all right okay uh, so this is the sample applications that I have just installed. I have various different features on the uh, left. Uh, I can reboot in case if I wish to reboot, I want to, I can quickly do that. Change the language of an application, which is very important in case if your application is supported, you can do that. Network simulation, which is very important feature. Um, so basically to simulate the different networking condition, if you would like to test your application on various different networking conditions. So what we have done is we have throttled the Wi-Fi with different upload and the download uh, by creating different profiles like 2G, 3G, 4G, and so on. You can pretty much select the profile of your choice. So for instance, if I'm selecting 3G good, which has an uh, upload speed of 420 and the delay of 100, and the download speed of 850 with the delay of 90, I just have to click on shape. And the moment I click on shape, this network profile is being uh, given to the device. So whatever activity that now I perform on this device would be under this profile. So at any point of time, I can just uh, click on unshape it, or I can pretty much go back to the networks page and uh, change the network profile that I want to. So through the, with this feature, you can uh, know how your application is behaving under various different networking conditions. So basically, we are simulating the networking parameters. Location aware app, if your application is a location aware app, and if it feeds the data based on the location that you have selected. So be it on any part of the Earth, uh, you can mock the location. 
so uh, in case if you want to test uh, your application with this feature provided your application is supporting you can use this location feature and test your application toggle wi-fi you can switch off and switch on the toggle wi-fi directly from the uh, from this feature adb commands in case if you wish to send the adb commands directly to the device and execute it you can pretty much use this chrome debugger uh, in case if you wish to inspect your mobile web applications you can use the chrome debugger for uh, android uh, devices and uh, safari debugger for ios devices web url uh, in case if you have your mobile web url right uh, and also uh, instead of uh, native and hybrid if you have a mobile web applications and if you wish to test it on different browsers so we have uh, uh, this feature where you can quickly provide your url select the browser of your choice and uh, you know you can just click on launch so the, the moment you click on launch the application will get uh, uh, you know the the browser will get installed on this particular device and uh, you know you can pretty much test your uh, mobile web, mobile web application on this particular device at the same time in case if you wish to change the browser just go back to the mobile web uh, web url page select the uh, provide the url and change the browser right you that you want with this you can achieve the cross browser testing so that's about web url another important feature is the vinylet feature so what is this vinylet feature say for instance if you want to test your application which is in your staging server right so maybe in the qa environment which is not yet accessible from outside the outside the network but you still would like to test your application on our platform uh, be it on android or as well as ios devices so you can pretty much do that so if you click on here so this will take you to our documentation where you can uh, you know just go through a simple steps so you have an executable uh, depending on the local machine that you are working so depending on uh, either if it's mac linux or windows just download an executable on your local machine and execute a small command on your local machine so once you execute uh, the command from your command prompt a connection would be established from your local machine to this device Right. So uh, basically what we are doing is we are creating a tunnel. We, we are creating a reverse tunnel. Uh, so whatever the request. So once this is enabled, so whatever request that is goes to this device will be routed through your local network. Right. And uh, this device will be using the local network of your local machine and you'll be able to access the uh, uh, the local site application so if you have any such use cases you can pretty much use this while feature some other features like while you're testing if you have found any defect and if you'd like to capture a screenshot just click on capture screenshot so that the you know the screenshot will be captured in one is to one pixel you can further re-edit this in order to highlight the defect more precisely all right so that you identify uh, the defect and uh, go to the developers just click on edit option select the font size and uh, i'm just uh, you know highlighting a defect uh, just studying a hypothetical example i've highlighted the defect provide some meaningful name uh, maybe the icon is in the wrong place and click on confirm save so once i do that the edited screenshot would just appear next to this screenshot and you can also collaborate these screenshots on various different platforms so we have uh, seamless integration with the uh, zira slack and github so in case if you are using any of these platforms then you can uh, uh, quickly uh, you know collaborate the screenshot on these different platforms so with that you you know save your time you know of uh, raising the defects uh, so it's pretty just one click where you will be providing the details and uh, uh, of course you have to authenticate with your uh, credentials so that will be a one time activity and once you have done with that uh, it's uh, pretty straightforward you can log up directly on these different platforms and uh, rotate screen in case if you wish to test your application in the landscape mode provided application is supported you can test your application uh, by rotating the screen zoom in zoom out uh, so in case if you wish to test the quality ui quality of the application you can use this feature wherein you will be zooming in and zoom out features some other features like uh, inject file uh, uh, so if your application has the qr code scanner and if it scans the barcode uh, then we have the feature for it so where you can quickly you know inject the image qr code image into the cloud and then you can pretty much scan it from your uh, local uh, device from your from your device from the cloud device that you have connected and the scanner scans the barcode and it will start giving you the uh, details and we also have a touch id feature uh, which is basically uh, uh, which will uh, you know uh, does the authentication if an application is authenticated with the fingerprint then we have this uh, feature where it simulates basically it bypasses the touch id uh, depending on the options that you select we have uh, two options here red and uh, green button for uh, authentications so that's about uh, touch id you can also name this session uh, with some meaningful name you can provide the uh, some meaningful name so that you identify it 
So once you have done with your testing, uh, you can release the device. Uh, you can to release the device, just click on release button on top right corner. Just click on release. You will be notified with a pop-up message which states whatever the data on this device will be cleaned up. So here, basically, uh, we are, you know, since this is being a public cloud and uh, uh, we are cleaning, we are doing a auto cleanup options where, you know, the, the application would be uninstalled and whatever the data that has in it. And we will also clear the cache and the cookies and the device will be rebooted. So next time when you access the same device, the device will be in the normal state. So this is mainly from the security point of view. Uh, we understand uh, the customer. Uh, data being uh, confidential and how important it is. So, and uh, we are also certified with ISO 27001 and SOC 2 compliant. So you can be rest assured. So whatever the data or the applications that you are testing on our platform is absolutely safe. And uh, it's just that in case if you are uh, signing in with your uh, Gmail uh, in on these devices, it's the user's responsibility to sign out uh, before even before you release the device. So once you click on yes, uh, the device will be uh, released and it will go in auto cleanup option. And uh, I'm uh, done with the manual uh, testing side and the report by default will also get generated. So to navigate the to access the report, uh, just access to the report section and uh, click on all reports where you will see the uh, list of uh, reports that you have uh, you know done the testing for both manual and uh, automation testing so once you see the report you can pretty much view the report where you can see all the different uh, statics like uh, uh, the performance metrics so whatever that i showcased during the uh, live uh, during the demo the other part so if i further click on view report uh, this will give me the further details about the device uh, and uh, i also have details about the session details started completion total duration and also log a bug in case if you wish to analyze the data and then you log a bug then you can do that as well so these are the performance metrics uh, that has been captured uh, so uh, battery chart pretty much about the application the device battery and the application battery memory chart uh, so we are providing uh, the memory consumption at the application level so this is uh, pretty much about the uh, memory cpu chart uh, the at the application cpu the system cpu and the at the user level cpu network chart and uh, we're also providing the snapshots so whatever snapshots that you have captured right during the manual testing will all be captured and it's also downloadable and these are the two important artifacts that i was talking about one is logs uh, the other is the video so you can download these logs and you can use it for further debugging purpose this is the video the entire session has been captured in the form of video i can download this video and i can see what manual testing activity that i have done over the period of time so that's about the reports so, so the entire report again is uh, shareable if you wish to share this report among your team members or different stakeholders you can do that you just have to click on copy report link a uh, report link will be created and uh, you can share across the link so they need not be a p cloud user anybody who has this links uh, who has this link will be able to view the report just like how we are seeing right now so that's about uh, reports and uh, uh, the manual testing side now let me uh, uh, quickly uh, jump into the other part um, of uh, our platform is the browser cloud so so we have we have recently launched this uh, uh, browser cloud where you know you can test all your uh, uh, web uh, desktop web applications uh, the interface uh, you know the interface is again is on the same platform uh, so you can pretty much uh, access it by clicking on the browser tab so where you'll be seeing all the list of different uh, machines uh, with the different operating systems and versions and the different browsers right so you can test as well. so we also have a filter option uh, you know you can pretty much filter based on browser so we have support for all the different browsers starting from chrome firefox safari Microsoft Edge and IE when it comes to OS so we're supporting all the different uh, Macs and uh, uh, Windows machines and uh, OS versions so we are supporting uh, Hey Sierra, Mojave, Catalina for uh, uh, for iOS and uh, 8.1 and 10 for Windows uh, uh, Windows operating system so I can quickly get connected to any of these machines and uh, I can test my uh, the local uh, the desktop web applications to connect to get connected uh, again based on the availability I can, I can just choose the uh, operating system with the version and the browser of my choice just click on connect 
this will get connected to the uh, respective machine uh, which i want to test with and once this is connected uh, you know you can uh, pretty much uh, go into the full screen mode where you can uh, test your uh, mobile your uh, desktop web applications as you can see the browser has just launched it's a chrome 84.0.1 on windows 8.1 machine i can pretty much launch the application whichever application for instance if i am launching the e-commerce application i just launched it and i can do all my uh, manual testing on this web application. I also have a sc different screen resolution in case if I wish to test my application with a different screen resolution, it's a quick uh, uh, drop down where you can quickly change the resolution of your choice and then uh, the screen size will accommodate uh, accordingly. And uh, in case while you're testing, if there are any uh, anything, any defects or uh, anything that you would like to capture, just click on uh, capture screenshot and screenshot would be captured. and uh, you can use it for further, uh, uh, further uh, for defect tracing purpose and so on. And uh, while net feature again, this is again sim something similar to you know in case if you have your web application which is accessed only in the staging server, right? Uh, which is accessed only within your restricted environment. But however, you still want to test your application on our platform even the, before the application is released to the production. You can pretty much use this feature. You can just click on here. So this will uh, take you to the documentation page where you will be downloading a, a utility file on your local machine and then executing our command. Uh, once you have done with that, you can quickly enable this and you can test your uh, local site applications. So that's about uh, uh, you know, on the browser cloud, how you connect to a particular machine and then test your uh, web application. So once you have done with your testing, you can click on release and uh, you'll also be notified with the warning message which says uh, the data that you have browsed on this particular machine will be cleaned up. Again, this is uh, from the security point. I can just click on yes uh, so that the device gets released. So this is, uh, uh, you know, this will give you a flexibility to test, you know, both your uh, mobile uh, application and as well as the desktop web application on a single platform. And uh, now this is on the just on the manual testing front. Now, if I go to the automation side, all right? So uh, you can again, uh, uh, you have we have uh, support for different uh, tools, uh, right? Uh, the the different tools which are available in the market and. Uh, some of the open source tools that we are supporting right so opkey is our uh, internal tool uh, uh, again uh, so this uh, this is a licensed version it has to be procured uh, separately but uh, uh, the uh, opkey the the opkey, opkey is basically a, a solution which is a zero code uh, uh, automation right so anyone in the organization can quickly create the scripts they need not uh, have uh, the scripting the programming skills anyone in the organization just just create it uh, just have a uh, just, just just can create the flow as and when you're recording so we have a record and replay option where while you're recording the entire steps gets recorded in this plain readable language in the readable language and you can just integrate this with the p cloudy and then you can run on multiple devices some other tools that we support are expresso calabash and apm and exit test and if you have created your uh, automation scripts on these platform you can pretty much use these platforms and execute your existing scripts on our multi on our platform and uh, run your test uh, script on multiple devices so uh, for the benefit of the time i'll just uh, cover on the apm um, tool so apm has been uh, broadly used uh, for the test automation of the mobile applications uh, uh, for both android and as well as in the ios side so i have uh, uh, under typical architecture diagram of uh, APM, how it looks like. We have an APM client where you'll be creating the scripts, uh, be it on Eclipse or Android Studio, and APM server, which is in turn connected to the physical uh, devices. So this is the local setup in case if you are running uh, through APM today at this point. And uh, we also have, uh, um, when this gets integrated with pCloudy, we don't require the APM server. It's just that we need require the APM client where you will be creating your uh, uh, scripts, where you have the scripts created already. And once this gets integrated, you can run it on multiple devices. So let's see it in live, uh, how the script execution will happen. I have a sample script that's created on Eclipse. I'm using Eclipse as an APM client here. And I have created this uh, script on the test ng framework. Uh, since APM is uh, agno uh, test uh, uh, automation framework agnostic, right? So you can pretty much choose the framework of your choice depending upon your comfortness and the resources skills that you have and uh, you can create. So any test has three important steps. Uh, the first step is the before method where you are where you are creating the capabilities. So this is again based on the capabilities uh, where we are initializing the driver, right? So this is the endpoint URL 
uh, where the uh, the APM server is running, right? So you just have to replace this. And when I talk about integration, this is just a six line of code uh, that I need, right? So when once I have the six line of code, I'm pretty much done with the execution. So it is uh, pretty straightforward. And uh, and the second part of the test is to write the actual test case. So we have written a sample test case here uh, by using various different means. So we also have uh, inbuilt uh, uh, object spy, you know, which will help you to get the relevant uh, objects details for to for, for finding the elements. You can explore our expert as well, our uh, object spy as well. And the third part is the author method where we are, uh, you know, quitting the driver. So these are the three important uh, steps. So now uh, to generate these capabilities, again, we have an interface where you can quickly uh, generate this capability, just to go to the P Cloudy platform and uh, uh, just go into the devices tab in the uh, capability sections uh, you, where you know you can quickly uh, select based on the requirement, either if it's Android or iOS, you can quickly uh, define all the different parameters here and click on generate. The capabilities would be created on the right hand side and you can take these capabilities back to your existing script and paste it. And uh, you are pretty much done with uh, the integrations. Now, if I want to run this, execute this, you know, so there are three different parameters here, uh, device manufacturer, device version, and the device full name. So if I'm executing with device full name, uh, you know, this particular script will be run on only on this particular device, right? However, uh, if I am going with the manufacturer and the version, then in say, for instance, if I am running this on LG device, right? So what this script will execute on, LG uh, device with manufacturers LG and the device version as 8. So it will pick any random uh, LG device which has a version 8. But however, if I want to run it on multiple devices, right? So the actual purpose of integrating P Cloudy with APM is to achieve the parallel execution. So what we have done is we have created a parameter called uh, uh, device name and I'm passing this as an annotation. I also have a test ng XML where I will be passing the values, right? So if I want to run it on two different devices, I'm passing this uh, values, those device values. Either I can you know, provide the manufacturer name or complete device full name. And the second device name I have given it as uh, OnePlus. I can execute, I can quickly execute this. I just click on right click and uh, go to the run as and click on test ng suit. And uh, you will start seeing the console uh, where you can monitor, you know, if there are any errors or warning SMS message. So this is a typical flow of APM. With P Cloudy, what we have done is we have gone a step ahead, all right? And we are also providing a live view for you. So to access the live view, just go back to the platform, navigate into the report section. And uh, in the My Active session, you will start seeing all the devices that we have selected, right? So though uh, uh, this is optional, but however, you can still see the live view. So as you can see, two devices have come, one from uh, OnePlus, another from the Samsung. I can further click on Live View uh, in case if I wish to see what exactly is happening during my automation. Right, I just click on live view for both the devices. Uh, you may see the devices, you know, at any point of time. As you can see, the devices have come online, and the script will get executed on both these uh, devices. So, uh, and once this, this once the execution is finished, you can pretty much, uh, you know, the devices gets released, and you can navigate to the report sections. So you can pretty much monitor what exactly is happening during your uh, live testing. Once the test, once the execution is finished, you can monitor the reports by going into the all reports tab, uh, where you'll be seeing all the uh, different uh, reports that you have, uh, the sessions that you have run over the period of time. Let me just access the report, one of the reports, sample reports. Let me just click on view reports. So the automation report will something look like this, where you have a session details and. Uh, all the uh, the session completion, the started duration, and the total duration. You can further click on at the device level uh, to see the report at the device level. So we are providing. So this is an additional report, add-on report. What we are providing. So whatever the customized reports that you are providing will be available in your uh, local uh, on your local uh, on your local uh, machine. Uh, so this is an additional add-on report. So where we are providing all the important performance metrics like the CPU chart, the memory chart, the battery chart, the network chart. And we are also providing the uh, the comprehensive raw data in case if you are having any, uh, if you want to create your own graphs. Uh, and we're also providing the logs, like device logs, APM logs, and APM standard logs. This is for uh, 
debugging the application if there are any issues. And uh, we're also providing the session videos, uh, right? You can download the session video for the entire uh, session for the automation. So that's the uh, automation report, how it looks like. Again, the report is shareable, just like manual testing. You can pretty much share it. So that's uh, that's it on the automation side uh, for the mobile applications. And uh, with the browser cloud, in case if you uh, plan, you know, if you have your uh, desktop web applications uh, and if you have created the scripts on the Selenium, then we have a seamless integration with the uh, Selenium tool as well with the browser cloud option where you can automate all your uh, existing uh, desktop web applications and use your existing scripts and uh, you know test it on mul different uh, multiple devices different machines different with different operating systems and different uh, uh, maybe i can just quickly showcase the script right for the selenium this is for the uh, browser cloud option where we have uh, created a sample script and uh, so I'm, I'm pretty much done. Uh, so uh, we can probably uh, start the questions if there are any. So this is the script, a uh, default script for Selenium. Uh, it's, a, it's a sample script that I have created uh, based on the uh, capabilities. Uh, so we have defined all the important capabilities here. This is the capabilities for the integration. All right, uh, we have provided in the documentation. You can uh, pretty much access uh, in the documentation page, and uh, also have a test in JXML, just like for the mobile applications, uh, where uh, you will be providing the uh, the parameters here, right? On which devices I'm I want to execute this. So I have two different uh, machines that I have different with different operating system versions and the different uh, browser level itself. So with that, uh, I think I'm pretty much on the time. I have uh, covered. Uh, so if there are any questions, you can uh, feel free uh, to ask me the questions. I'll be happy to answer. All right, then. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for your uh, you know, valuable time uh, for taking out. I hope uh, this uh, tool product demonstration was uh, pretty useful and uh, and was helpful to you guys. So feel free to reach reach, uh, reach us back, reach us in case if you have any further queries, you can always reach back. You can uh, go into our website, pcloudy.com, and uh, you can, of course, uh, uh, go through the different features and the options that we have. You can also have a trail, uh, you know, in case if you wish to have a trail evaluation version, you can subscribe for uh, evaluation version as well uh, to evaluate the product. So with that, I conclude. Uh, uh, thank you once again. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good evening.